The failure of two large banks has many people worried about our financial industry. So how did this happen and what does this all mean for you and your money? Let me explain. California banking regulators shut down Silicon Valley Bank. It was then taken over by the federal government. Silicon Valley Bank has been around for 40 years and catered to many of the world's most powerful tech investors. So what led to the collapse? In recent months, the tech industry has been suffering, so many of the bank's clients were withdrawing money. In order to make good on those withdrawals, Silicon Valley Bank had to sell part of its bond holdings at a steep loss of $1.8 billion. Bonds and stocks have been hit hard since last year as the Federal Reserve aggressively raised interest rates. The announcement that the bank was selling its bond holdings scared many clients, causing them to take out even more money out of the bank. Now that led to a huge slump in Silicon Valley Bank's shares. On Thursday, March 9th, the bank's stock price fell by 60 percent. Federal regulators took control of the bank the next day. Another lender, Signature Bank, was shut down as well. It has an office in Beverly Hills and was one of the main banks for the cryptocurrency industry. The federal government has said that customers of these two banks will have access to their money. So what does this mean for other banks? Investors feared that smaller and regional lenders would get hit with a similar surge in withdrawals and struggle to keep up. But analysts at Morgan Stanley said that what happened with Silicon Valley Bank is just an unusual situation and should not be viewed as something that will automatically happen with other banks. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that she has full confidence in bank regulators to take the appropriate action to make sure the banking system remains strong. It is also important to note that your money is protected by the FDIC or Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. That money is guaranteed up to $250,000. Financial experts recommend that if your deposit gets bigger than that, then you should consider dividing it up between multiple banks.